Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to FTL Faster Than Light. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato, and we're going to be having a little shot at this game. I played it a long, long time ago on the channel. This series is probably going to run for about two weeks, I would imagine, depending on how fast we accomplish the missions and how fast we die. I think we're probably going to only do one run, but if people like this video enough, then there is a good chance that we will uh, do it again. So show me your love by hitting the like button uh, throughout the series if, uh, if, if you were going to do it. I did a little bit of a test run just to test out what things uh, were going on. We have got the advanced edition content, which... Something that, uh, that you can't go wrong with. We're going to play on normal mode because why not? In fact, no, we're going to play on easy mode because I want to be easy and it's difficult. Uh, what ships have I actually unlocked? Pretty much only the Kestrel and the Taurus. We're going to go for the Kestrel. I really, really like this Kestrel. I really, really do. Uh, who are we gonna have? We're gonna have? We're going to have somebody who's the captain. Who's, who's this up here? I don't know who this is up here. But I wish I did. I wish I did know. Okay. We're going to rename. You are going to be called Orbital Potato. There we go. There we go. Orbital Potato. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Potato. I like it. Humans. Okay. Cool. Uh, we've got Sem. Why would we want Sem? We we can have... Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's have, let's have Colonel Failure. Colonel Failure. There we go failure just the name of failure and we will have jake so we'll have jake failure and potato if you've got any suggestions of uh, of names of anything then uh, then by all means please 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 suggest them in the comments 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 uh we're gonna call this one HMS, uh, Her Majesty's Ship, I think that is called. That's you know, British ships are usually named HMS. Uh, this is going to be the HMS Potato. I know I can't think of anything else. It's, I'm sorry, I'm just not an original sort of person. Uh, so yeah, this is what we've got. We've got door control, cameras, med bay, shields, uh, captain area, the the piloting area, uh, the weapons, O2 and engines. Nothing super crazy about this ship. It's uh, It's got a burst laser level 2, which is kind of nice, and it's got a missile launcher, so it can do uh, a variety of, of damage, whatnot. Uh, wow, have I actually done this with the, with the Kestrel? Have I d defeated the flagship? Holy cow, I can't believe it. And we've unlocked full arsenal. Have six unique aliens on the Kestrel cruiser simultaneously. We can, uh, we can definitely try and do that, or... As the Kestrel Cruiser, repair back to full health when it only has one HP remaining. We will definitely try and do this. We've got no augmentations. We've got no nothing. Let us go ahead and start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the next exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Fantastic. We will endeavor to do just that. Let us unpause. It is, of course, space to pause and unpause. We need to make sure that we are doing that as effectively as possible throughout the game. We've got three extra power bars, three extra power bars that we can stick into whatever we darn well choose. And we will choose to uh, power off the med bay and uh, toggle that on and off, so to speak. Now, just to familiarize with myself, it is uh, Z to open all doors, X to uh, close all doors. Also, we're going to want to save the positions of our current crewmates, and then we can get them to disperse back to their uh, other positions. So, for example, if we do that, and then we say, disperse back to your original positions, they will all go and do that. Okay, good. I've warmed up to this again. Uh, there's a distress beacon that we could go to. We want to make sure that we get, uh, you know, as full advantage of the sector as possible. I'm feeling that we sort of go for a route around the top. I mean, it's less, you know, there's, there's less of an escape route if something bad happens. But at the same time, 
you know, live dangerously. That's what I always say. Okay, let's go to the Distress Beacon and then let us go to the Nebula so that it slows the enemy fleet down. Definitely worth a shot and hopefully we can get into combat very, very soon indeed. You find the source of the Distress Call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. A fire suppression system is not responding. Uh, let us send our crew. Okay, your crew uh, valiantly... Valiant. I was struggling with that word for a second. I thought I said vigilante. I was like, what? what? Vigilante? What? Uh, your crew valiantly keeps the fire at bay long enough to allow some of the scientists to escape, but it appears to be a losing battle before long you order the retreat. The few scientists that we're able to save are distraught but grateful. You drop them off at the next station. Well, we got 31 scrap from that, so that's uh, not a completely wasted battle. There is a store over there, and we could visit it on the way back, should we see the need to. Let us progress with uh, great haste to the nebula. At last, we have uh, we have got some some combat. Let's attack the automated ship. We're gonna obviously boot up both of our weapons. Since it's an automated scout, it's not gonna make a damned difference if we have our sensors enabled uh, or not. But uh, we are going to be looking to target their weapons with everything we've got. Also, the Artemis is gonna be firing on there. In fact, let's. Uh, Let's hold off until we launch the missile. Let's let the missile hit, and then let's get the uh, yeah the shots away on the weapons. Basically, that means that we've just got a guaranteed uh, chance of, of, of getting the weapons down. And, you know, we don't want to muck around. And let's just take the last shot, finish it off. Boom. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and uh, Gertrude is your sister. Salvage what you want, 23 scrap, that's not too bad. And three missiles, one drone part, and 12 scrap from the, from the storage site. That is... That is a very, very, very juicy, juicy, juicy uh, reward for doing such a, a menial task. We didn't even take any damage. Our shields barely got damaged, so that's nice to see. Let's boot up our Artemis. Oh, we're, we're still in the thing. Okay, at first it appears you've arrived at an empty station. Okay, so we've got a pirate. Okay, you know what? That's cool. Uh, I, I think we can we can waste a missile on this guy. Uh, we are going to be targeting the shields once again, and then we are going to be targeting the weapons once the shields have been taken down. Fingers crossed that's what happens anyway. There we go. Uh, we did take a little bit of damage from the uh, the beam weapon, but that's okay. We can shut down the missile launcher. Let's keep on pounding at the shields, I guess, just so the shields stay down. And once again, it doesn't matter. We just take them out. Easy peasy. We get two fuel, one drone part, and 21 scrap. So very, very lucrative in the early stages of the game. That is for sure. Let us progress. Let us progress. It is always nice to make uh, some progress. Okay, an unidentified ship is badly damaged and is still being assaulted by a space pirate. I I feel that that is not a great deal. The fact the, that it's so low scrap makes me question that... Uh, that it's it's a bad deal so we're gonna actually attack the pirate ship and you know there is a potential for us to uh to get a reward okay so they've used some mind control tech that's actually kind of worrying and he is going to be damaging the engine in all honesty that is great to see that the engine is going to be damaged because uh, i would rather other stuff uh, was not damaged but we're going to target the mind control so nothing of this nature can uh, do again okay you proved a sufficient match for the pirates. They are powering up their FTL and trying to get away. Okay, well, we managed to destroy the mind control just before our, our, uh, our engine unit was actually destroyed, so that is kind of nice. Let us uh, now target their weapons to make sure that we can take out their missile launcher, which we did indeed. Okay, wow. Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Three fuel, one drone part, and 28 scrap. That is actually a very, very good deal, not to mention the pike beam that is coming along with it. Let's accept that bribe. I will take that any day. That is that is a good bribe, if ever I saw one. A pike beam. You know what? I really want to make sure that we have the capability to do that, so let's stick another two bars and two bars in there, and we should theoretically be able to power up our pike beam, which is exactly what we want actually it's exactly what we want so overall i feel that we made uh, a very very good deal uh, with those guys to get that uh, that equipment because you know extra firepower is always nice and the fact that we've got a missile launcher is uh, is great oh oh whoa, whoa we could really have done with a 
a slave, so to speak. As in, to liberate a slave. Okay, all weapons are on. Let's boot up. Fingers crossed we can get a, another missile in there just to uh, take things out. That would be lovely. Before our engine unit was damaged once again, that would be fantastic. And let us target the weapon system again. Okay, once again, once again, we managed to actually pull off the crazy, crazy uh, shenanigans. And we managed to take out the mind control before our engine unit was taken out. Oh, don't actually fire pike beam. We just want to wait. Wait for a bit. We need to take the shields out. Uh, Artemis, I don't think we need you. I don't think we need your hand anymore. Um, the pike beam will really finish it off. Now that the shields are down, we've got a fantastic excuse to use it. There we go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And two missiles, one drone part, and 27 scraps. So it's annoying that we didn't actually manage to get a slave because I would really have liked to get another crew member on board. You know, you can never uh, underestimate the strength of crew members. I'm just... Uh, planning out our route here so one two three four five i think that's what we're gonna do and go to the shop if we get like a shit ton of money right now um i think we're gonna attempt to download the ship's data stores obviously it's gonna have some sort of an issue uh, about reactivating it we do not even need an artemis that is fantastic let us just fire everything we've got at the weapons straight away and there we go Wow, that was that was really bad for them. That was really very, very bad for them. Hopefully we get more. Yeah, we did. We got 23 scrap out of that. So anything anything above 12 scrap would have been a profit. And, uh, you know, that was totally worth it. We didn't take any damage in the slightest. So once again, very, very successful little salvage mission there. Okay, by the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid the fight. Honestly, I'm okay with this. Um... Got a little bit of a drone. Combat drones, that's that's fucking useless. Why would you even bother activating that? That is absolutely terrible for you, buddy. Okay, we're going to go on the shields. We will target the weapons. There we go. Perfect. That's pretty much exactly what we wanted. And then we want to line up a shot like... What do we want? What do we want to do? I actually think we want to... Should we try for an asphyxiation? Yeah, we'll try that. If that doesn't destroy them, which it does, uh, then we would have probably managed to asphyxiate them. Two fuel, one drone part, and 22 scrap. Not bad in the slightest. Let us progress. So if we go down here, then we've got the potential to jump to the exit or jump to there, or jump to there if we're feeling very, very lucky, and then jump to the exit, which means overall that I think we should uh, we should be fairly safe. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Listen to their offer. Some of our friends have taken to piracy in the recent chaos of the war. We'd like to convince them of your poor decision by severely damaging their ship. We'll pay you well as long as you don't kill them. Okay, I've never actually seen this before. Just be sure not to blow them up. They say nervously as they direct you to a nearby moon. You find the pirate ship docked there. They immediately respond with your appearance. Your money or your life. They must be new to this. Well, okay. Um... Okay, I will target down their shields with a missile and see what we can do. Also, we want to be upgrading shields pretty much as soon as possible. In fact, you know what? No, let's not even waste a missile on their, their measly asses. I mean, they've got nothing. I mean, if... Oh, Jesus Christ, they did some damage. That's annoying. Well, we are gonna, we are gonna you know, damage them a little bit. There we go. That was the double combo wombo that we were looking for. We want to make sure that our shields actually protect us from everything. We did take one bit of damage. That's a little bit annoying, actually. I'll just continue pounding their uh, shields. There we go. Let them live and then return to the settlement. Fantastic. With the pirates dissuaded from their career path, you return to the settlement. Thank you. They returned to us before you did. I don't think we'll need this anymore. That is great. An Ion Blast and 20 scraps. So overall, I'm actually fairly happy with that, you know? I mean, we did a good deed. We did a good deed. Now, ideally, we'd like to upgrade our shields to the next level because next level shields are something that I am very, very passionate about. Do we want to try and go for the Ion Blast? I mean, what would that take? That would take 100 scrap to get 
the Ion Blast up online. You know what, I'm not completely opposed to the idea of getting an Ion Blast up online. I think that may actually help. I think it would be fairly nice. Um, I'm going to fight the ship because mercenaries are always good. An enemy combat drone repeatedly attacks your ship can be shut down by damaging the enemy's ship combat drone. All right, great, whatever. It doesn't really matter to us. Stick extra bars into shields as well. I'm actually okay with this. Since we've got two layers of shields, we should manage uh, to get out of this just fine. We want to, if possible, send a missile to the shields. Burst laser will be on the weapons. Oh god, that's, that's bad. There we go, perfect. Uh, let's get you to go and repair that. And then the pike beam will be going as across uh, as many rooms as possible, which is going to be a fair few, actually. There we go. Easy. Easy. The pike beam really eats into them. That is devastating. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Don't mind if I do. I will take all of that. Annoying that we had to lose our, uh, our whatever you call it, our sensors. That's the one. But at the same time, I'm not too uh too annoyed about that i mean you know we still did well out of that fight i think we can afford to go to one more location and that location is going to be right over there fingers crossed fingers crossed we shall uh, we shall manage to get some good scrap out of here stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet they're powering up their ftl if they get away they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position Right, so as far as, I, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the most difficult fight so far because they've got a missile launcher, which is bad for us because missile launchers are, of course, atrocious and they go through shields and, like, they just don't exist. Uh, but they're also trying to get away. So we need to dedicate our resources fairly effectively to make sure that they don't get away but also that they don't hit us with their missile launcher. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect them to get a shot off with their missile launcher. So I'm going to target their engine. Uh, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to target their shields. I'm going to presume that they're not going to be able to get away so fast that they will avoid uh, avoid this missile here. If this missile misses, though, then we could be in some serious trouble. So fingers crossed, we can get the Artemis through to their through to their shield, take out their shields, right? Take out their shields, target the engines. There we go. Target the engines, and then the pike beam will just finish them off. Fantastic. Now, we did take a little bit of damage there. Not on anything important, thank God. But, uh, you know, a little bit of damage. It's just chip, chip, chipping away at us, which is really kind of annoying. The ship breaks apart, and you're relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the fleet. One fuel, two missiles, and 26 scrap. Very, very, very happy with that result, actually. Uh, let us head to the exit. The last, uh, the last beacon before we get out of here. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. I don't want to sell any missiles, I'm afraid. I would uh, would ideally like to progress to the next sector. And we have the option of going to the Mantis-controlled sector or the Rebel-controlled sector. So, we're going to see what we choose in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name, of course, has been Obi Potato. Thank you very, very much for watching Faster Than Light FTL. It's been great fun. Hopefully our Kestrel is going to go all the way to the end and uh, and defeat the enemy. The enemy flagship, so to speak. Fingers crossed, anyway. It would be uh, it would be great fun. So if you guys want to see more of this, then be sure, you know, like the series. Tell me what you think. Suggest some names for me. Hopefully that we can pick up some uh, some more crew members. But, uh, but hey-ho, it's going to be great. So... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, is Nobody Potato. Tune in next time for some more FTL. Until then, bye.